We have another optimization method we need to study. Not every situation is going to lend itself to the closed interval method, so I want to introduce you to the first derivative test for absolute max and min. Here's the idea behind it. Let's say you have a function y equals f of x, and the function has a positive derivative to the left of some critical point c, and a negative derivative to the right. Well, then you can uh, surmise that it has an absolute maximum at c. Now, it has to have a, neg a positive derivative everywhere to the left and a negative derivative everywhere to the right. That will give you an absolute maximum. This idea is summarized in the first derivative test. Suppose f is differentiable on some interval i, and suppose c is the only critical point for f on that interval. If f prime is positive for all x less than c, so positive on the left, and if it's negative on the right, then f will have an absolute maximum. And if it's negative on the left and positive on the right, it's, de it's decreasing and then increasing. It's going to have an absolute minimum at x equals c. We'll use this method in the next few problems.